2317 on the 11th of March 1987 Pauline gave birth to the most beautiful baby girl and at that moment I remember vividly thinking to myself I'm not going to need that train set <laughs> there was no eBay back then so it wasn't going to be easy to get rid of it but seriously like most first time fathers I looked down at her and made a pact with myself that I would love and protect this precious gift as long as I lived. And on this day, I know in my heart that Charles feels the same. As for Kirsty, she's made a pact today. She will love Charles more than shoes. <laughs> and Kirsty's friends will understand that is a lot of love. That's a lot of love. I'm bursting with pride to see her here today, married to her soulmate Charles and I love them both so much. One of Kirsty's favorite icons is Audrey Hepburn. And she famously once said, when I get married, I want to be very married. And from what I have seen of the effort, hard work, attention to detail, true love in everything they have done for this wedding, Kirsty and Charles are indeed very married. So, I would like you all to charge your glasses and join me in toasting the happy couple. Kirsty and Charles, everybody. Who gives this woman to this man? I do. You can sit down. <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? I, Charles, take you, Kirsty, to be my wife to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy law, in the presence of God, I make this vow. I, Kirsty, take you, Charles, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, Till death has depart, according to God's holy law, in the presence of God, I make this vow. Kirsty, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Charles, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So, you know, wow, doesn't my wife look awesome? I mean, she, she truly does look fantastic. She looks good in anything. We did actually once put a bin bag on when we were doing something in the garden. And she looked equally as beautiful. So, you know, I don't know how much the dress costs, but it's, it's absolutely fantastic. I, we make an excellent team and Kirsty isn't just my partner, she's my friend. We have way too much fun. Um, it's not someone who I wanted to live with, it's someone who I can't live without. And I really mean that. Um, we just want to explore the world, um, have a happy life. Kirsty needs to protect me from dangerous appliances like the oven and the, and the iron. <laughs> I know Kirsty would give me the moon on a stick if she could, but she already has. She's given me herself. <laughs> so I wanted to say, you know, thank you to everyone who has come. It, it's been such an emotional day, even the cake's in tears. <laughs> Kirsty loves that joke. <laughs> presence of God before this congregation. Charles and Kirsty have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one part. Charles, you can kiss the bride. <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to uh, congratulate uh, an amazing pair. I think the parfait followed by the beef went perfectly. Um, obviously, I'm referring to the very happy couple, uh, Charles and Kirsty Hodgson. 
I'm sure we can all agree that Kirsty looks spectacular. And Charles doesn't scrub up too badly either. To the new Mr and Mrs Hodgson, to a long life together, filled with happiness, adventure, and lots of wonderful memories. If you can please raise your glasses, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the bride and groom. <laughs> 